Caribbean Offshore Powerboat Championships. The Caribbean Great Race, Pleasure Sports, and Parole Divisions. And here are your hosts, Roger Pickett and Jay Harrison. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sunny island of Trinidad and Tobago. We're here with the Carib Great Race, and specifically the Pleasure Sports and Pirogue Divisions of Offshore Powerboat Racing. Well, all the race teams are showing up early here at the Trinidad and Tobago Yacht Club. Jason, what's our roster for today's agenda? In Heat 1, our Pirogue and Pleasure Division, at a max speed of 40 miles per hour, we have Intense High, Voluntad, Hero 2, and JOM. Also in Heat 1, the Pleasure Sports Division, at a max speed of 55 miles per hour, we have Trans Brokerage 1, Extreme Measures, and Outrageous. In Heat 2, our Modified Sports Division, at a max speed of 70 miles per hour, we have Candyman, Bico Blaze, Hero 3, Right Formula, Alien, Esso Special Effects, Wolverine X, and Mobile. In Heat 3, our Superboat Light and Super Modified Divisions, with a max speed of 95 miles per hour, we have Rage and White Heat 3. And in Heat 4, our Modified Max Division, with a max speed of 120 miles per hour, we have Bico 3 and the current champion, Mr. Solo. Well, the boat milling area is starting to fill up. Let's have a look at the race course. Here's what 100 nautical miles of Atlantic Ocean looks like. The boats are going to go eastbound past the center of town, Port of Spain, through the Bocas and the Dragon's Mouth and follow the grueling North Shore. Into Maracas Bay, more North Shore action. Now there's a lot of water current here. They're going to be doing a sharp 90 at Grand Rivere across the Atlantic Ocean. They're going to do two loops in the finish area and that's going to pick out today's winner. Well, government services are five star over here. Special thanks going out to the Trinidad and Tobago Coast Guard, military, and all the governmental services behind today's agenda. You can see all the boats getting ready there in the milling area. There's Voluntad, Intense High, Trans Brokerage One, JOM. All the boats from the Pirogue and Pleasure Division are going to be taking off first in Heat One. Well, this is really the entry level to the big offshore boats. This is. Um, where you could get in and see if you enjoy the sport. You still have the same skill with navigation, uh, getting from one island to the other 100 nautical miles away. So, I mean, whether you're starting off in the MTI catamarans or the entry level, but right now we're on board Iceman 1. The green flag is up. And there we go. The green flag is down. This race is now underway with the Pleasure Sports and Probe Divisions. And I think what's going to happen here is everyone's just going to hang tight as a cluster of boats with such a distance in front. No use pedal to the metal right now. I think, Jason, uh, we might see a little bit of just uh, hanging out and seeing what your uh, competitor or the other boats are doing performance-wise. Yeah, no need to be panicky right off the bat. There's Team Trans Brokerage 1 getting an early lead, followed by Outrageous, Extreme Measures, Intense High, and JOM. Well, they're doing a great job right now. As mentioned, they're heading eastbound to the capital city on the island of Trinidad, better known as Port of Spain, and they'll be circling around the Trinidad and Tobago Yacht Club, which is standing room only um, at this early hour. You can see the water conditions are ideal. There's no chop. Uh, they're in a huge bay right now, a natural bay. It's actually one of the largest bays um, in the Caribbean, so I mean, you, what you see is what you get. Here's our Far East marker boy, a great shot from the eyes in the sky. Jason, we could see three boats breaking loose right off the bat. There's Team Outrageous, skippered by Damon Mosca in the lead there, followed by Team Trans Brokerage 1 and Extreme Measures led by Jonathan Tardot battling it out there for second place right now. Well, the Tardot family, if you've been following the series, has a very rich tradition, 30 years in the island of Trinidad and Tobago, a forerunner, and actually uh, his father is uh, the captain of Toyota White Heat 3, very pristine boat and uh, all-star ground crew. We should also mention that while the water conditions are fairly calm right now, they're going to pick up huge in the North Shore where there are six different water currents converging together. Yeah, that's always a nightmare when they go through uh, what's known as the Bocas into the Dragon's Mouth. They'll be heading there very shortly, but that's the first uh, area of major chop, and you go from a nice 
calm bay like this into uh, a five to six foot swell and these boats have to adjust fast. Yeah, there's JOM intense high, Volantad and Hero 2 just making that final eastern turn towards the Trinidad and Tobago Yacht Club and they're going to be making their way back around the starting area. The shoreline is just uh, jammed with uh, spectators and uh, it's a real ideal opportunity for the consumers on the island of Trinidad to get a first hand close up look at the boats because once they get back to the starting area and take on that grueling north shore um, the boats are obviously well out of distance you can see a lot of the big ships in the background that are uh, moored off and uh, there is a, a safety zone for for these big ships not to be uh, mobile during the, during the execution or the initial start time of the race. You can see the Carib logo at the back of the boat. Thumbs up. So right now that one engine is just holding out fine. Looks like a modified fishing boat. Team Voluntad led by Miguel Morales just slightly ahead of 2-2 two -two, led by Larry Maiku but still ahead of them is Intense High. What a name for a boat, Intense High down in the tropics. Go figure. But a great shot here. Eyes in the sky is uh, we're following. A beautiful paint job there, Intense High, a father and son package in D69. This is their first year of racing in the great race. But let's get into our current positions. Heat 1 is just coming past the starting area, and Heat's 2, 3, and 4 are standing by ready to go. More offshore powerboat racing when we return. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Caribbean Offshore Powerboat Championship Series. We're here with the Pleasure Sports and Prog Divisions. My name's Roger Piggott along with Jay Harrison, my co-host. We're just looking at the milling area for heat number two out of a four heat race. This is the largest open water race on the planet Earth, the Carib Great Race from the island of Trinidad to the island of Tobago. We're just getting ready for Heat 2 to take off. That would be our modified sports division at a max speed of 70 miles an hour. Looks like the green flag's up there ready. Okay, we're in Iceman 1. This is the official start boat. There we go. The green flag is down. Heat number 2 is now underway. 70 miles an hour. You do the math. A uh, 100-mile uh, race course. And it's going to take a little over an hour and 20 minutes uh, pi r squared for these boats to complete but i'll tell you it's not that easy when they're in 12 foot chops which the north shore is regularly throwing at some of these vessels and because the race is a staggered start with different variations of speed classes taking off at different times you can be sure that all these boats are going to bottleneck on the north shore at some point well, that's always an exciting part, and we'll be showing all the viewers that, that uh, heat number two catches up to one, three catches up to two and one, and you see how it's going. All of a sudden, there's 53 boats all jammed, and you're really threading the needle through the pack. Great shot here at the Bat Boat, better known as Hero 3, and right now, they uh, seem to be giving her gas, trying to close that distance down on heat number one. Well, heat number one has a 10-minute head start, so they're just making their way into the starting area right now. And this is the second time the crowds in the starting area can see the boats. You can see some of the, the big top guns in offshore racing now in the milling area getting into position. But heat number one now coming through the starting area. So they started here. They went eastbound to the uh, center of town and are working their way westbound to the start and then this is where it all gets ugly. They're going to be heading up to those little islands there at the top of your screen, better known as the Boca, and that's the first water transformation where the Atlantic Ocean is going to start throwing some five-foot swells at these race boats. Yeah, we saw Team Outrageous in the lead there, followed by Trans Brokerage 1, Extreme Measures, JOM picking up the rear here, followed by Intense High. Well, it's so far so good. Everyone's just sort of staying together as a cluster, and I would imagine that this is really how this division is going to size up for the better part of the race. Great shot. You can see the containment area that the uh, Trinidad Coast Guard has in line for us. And all the boats now heading into the Bocas as the top guns, the MTI catamarans with over 2,500 horsepower at the back door uh, getting ready. They're all heading um, a little bit west there. Here is a great look at some of the MTI catamarans. This is our top speed division, 120 miles plus. You can see in the background, Toyota White Heat representing heat number three, busting loose out of the starting area. So heat two is now making their way into the dragon's mouth through the bocas led by Bico Blaze. 
Well, Bico Blaze is a new boat uh, out there this year. Uh, here's the big brother to it. That would be Bico M10 in the super modified division, 120 mile an hour plus, and look at the rooster tail, and listen to the thunder this morning on the Atlantic Ocean, as Mr. Solo hard on the gas, a little bit of a late start, but 100 miles of course in front of them at an average speed exceeding 100 miles an hour. Let's see our current positions. Heats 1 and 2 are making their way through the Bocas, while Heats 3 and 4 have just taken off, making their way towards Port of Spain. Okay, stay with us. More offshore powerboat racing. We'll be right back. Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching. Roger Pickett, along with Jay Harrison, we're covering the Caribbean Offshore Powerboat Championship Series, specifically the Carib Great Race, the longest open water race on the planet Earth. We're now just looking at heat number one going into the Bocas, better known as the Dragon's Mouth. This is the first time several of these boats are going to be entertaining some rough chop situations. You can see Extreme Measure seems to be shutting down. Could be some mechanical problems. The rules clearly state that providing the tools you have on board, you can service your engine, you can get back into the race. You're not allowed to have any assistance from another vessel. Well, Heat 1 is making their way through the Bocas. There's JOM followed by Intense High, but not far behind. It looks like Heat 2 is already starting to catch up and pass Heat 1. There's Mobile in the background, the inboard, giving her some gas, trying to make some early headway in the race. Well, you can see the bob and weave on the boat, so this is the first indicator of a water change. Now, unlike some of the super boats, these Pierogue and Pleasure and Sport Division boats don't have the luxury of moving ballast from the front of the boat to the back. So when the water gets choppy, these boats are just doing the big bob and weave as we're seeing right now. But here's what I like, Heat 4 already closing down on Heat number one. That's a great shot there, our eyes in the sky of Bico 3, British American Insurance, driven by Brian Branker and Richard Phillips. And you can hear the thunder on the Atlantic Ocean today. There we go, just blowing by Intense High. Let's have a look at the Intense High bio pay. In the Perogan Pleasure Division at a max speed of 40 miles per hour, we got Michael Clerk Jr. and Michael Clerk Sr., the father-son package as the driver and throttle man. Well, this is what it's all about, and a great-looking boat, entry level, one outboard motor on the back, and uh, they're going to have a lot of boats blowing by them. RC Cola M10, hard on the gas, chasing down Bico 3, but it looks like Extreme Measures back up and running. Congratulations, they're back in the race. Well, they were broken down earlier on, but they got the boat back up and running. They repaired it, and that's a true sign of experience. Let's take a closer look at Team Extreme Measures. In the Pleasure Sports Division at a max speed of 55 miles per hour, we got our driver, Jonathan Tardot, and our throttle man, Justin Keezer. Okay, well, a good-looking boat, and you notice they have arrows pointing upwards that says this side up. We have another shutdown. It looks like engine failure on Hero 3, and once again, if they could get her up, there's a great look at some of the crowd as these boats are just going to be blowing by them. They're in the containment area, heading towards Maracas Bay. Another shutdown. Jason, what's going on out here? Team Outrage is down for the eight count. I guess they couldn't take the pounding on the choppy water out here now. Here we go, another shutdown. This looks like mobile's the engine compartment open, and that is not a good sign. Hopefully they're gonna get her up and running, but a great look here at Toyota White Heat, and here is the top guns in the Carib Great Race, M7 and M10. Biko and Mr. Solo, you can see the big air the Atlantic Ocean is throwing at them now. And this is where the driver's skill really comes into play, because these modified max division boats are going to have to thread the needle past 50 other lower division boats, including Intense High and JOM. Well, they're going to be going through everyone, and you can see the big rollers, but what a great shot this is as these two boats are just neck and neck, and they are full throttle. Now, you can notice how the nose is relatively calm on the water uh, the swells don't look much but the boats are coming clear out of the water if we can hold this angle a bit and catch some of the big airs you actually see the propellers of these vessels clear out of the water with the carib great race and the big difference between these two boats in the super modified max division 120 mile an hour class 
is Solo here, the yellow boat, has three individuals inside to operate that boat. They have a driver, throttle man, and an independent navigator. Where the boat here, the silver one at the forefront of the screen, Vico 3, only has two individuals. So that looks like uh, C1, which would be Rage, 90 mile an hour class, and you can see some of the airs when the nose of these MTI cats come out of the water. That's where it gets scary, known as a flutter dance. And uh, we all know what happens when there's too much air getting under the nose of these boats. Now this is the actual most challenging part of the Carib Great Race, and it is the trek straight across the Atlantic Ocean from the island of Trinidad to the island of Tobago. You can see C1 up there, Rage, uh, also on